No instructors were injured in the filming of this video. So, do you have a dive course idea for me today? Yes, sir, I do. We're gonna call it Master Diver. You mean Dive Master? Don't we have that already? Oh, no, sir. This is Master Diver, or Master Scuba Diver, or Diver of Master Scuba, or maybe just Scuba Master. We're not set on the name yet. Wait a tick. Won't divers get confused with a name so close to Dive Master? Well, actually, we're kind of hoping yes, so divers get the mistaken impression this is a high-level certification. Wow, wow, wow. Right. I'm on board now. Diver confusion is tight. Lay it out for me. Okay, so this will be the highest rating a non-pro diver can earn. Well, this sounds like it's going to be really challenging. A cracking hard course. Nope. Actually, it's going to be really easy. Barely an inconvenience. Easy, you say? Isn't there a Hobbit fat textbook and a test? Not so much. The main thing they have to do is collect five cards. Okay, I want to say I'm following you, but I don't. Well, divers have to earn five certification cards in skill or knowledge areas called dive specialties. I see, I see. What's the benefit of these specialties? They each cost money. Okay, now we're talking. I like the sound of these specialties already. Once they complete five of these specialties, they can trade up to the Master Diver card and pay more money, of course. Wait a sec. Trading cards for one another? This is starting to sound a lot like a Pokemon game. Well, that's what we're shooting for. Oh, yes. Grown adults really dig card collecting of any kind. Can they trade these cards with each other? Oh, no, sir. That's a different thing. Oh, that's a shame. Tell me about some of these badass specialty cards. Well, let's see here. Uh, there's one here called Boat Diver. Ooh, Boat Diver, you say? What do you learn there? How to be a mariner, sailing, navigation, that sort of thing? Well, let's look at the list. Oh, uh, it says Boat Terminology. Well, you mean like front of the boat, back of the boat, side of the boat, that sort of thing? Mm-hmm. And then there's getting on and off the boat. And, uh, how to locate the safety equipment. Locate the safety equipment? Do you really need a whole training card for that? I don't know. Maybe it's in a tricky cabinet or something. Look, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to get way off of my back on the boat diver thing, okay? Okay. Perhaps I'm not seeing it yet. Give me another example of these specialties. Okay. I see another one here is fish ID specialty. And how does that one work? Here's an example the marketing department made up. Have a look at these slides. You have to pick which one is the fish in each one of them. Okay, the middle one. Uh, the left one. Uh, the right one. You're all correct. Have you taken this course before, sir? Hmm, I must be missing something. What are some of the benefits to this MasterCard? Well, virtually anyone could teach it. Fair point there. Okay. Let me see if I'm reading you right so far. This card has no dives, no skills, no textbook, and no test. Forgive me for saying, but this card doesn't sound very, oh, how shall I put it, mastery. I mean, there's master mechanic, master welder, master chef, master card. Pray tell, what does the word master mean to you? Hello? Well, strictly speaking, it's not really a certification, sir. We're calling it a recognition. Like a participation trophy? Oh! Why didn't you say so from the start? Participation trophies are tight. Yes, they are, sir. Kind of like the yellow belt at the dojo. So what do you think? If our divers are anywhere near as confused as I am on this one, I'd say we're in good shape on this one. Let's do it.